Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 3 mathematics class. So we have been learning about subtraction, right? Today we'll see some different cases of subtraction. Look at this simple example given here. We all know what is 10 minus 6. What is 10 minus 6? It is 4, right? 10 minus 6 equal to 4. Now I'm subtracting 1 from this 10. So that will make this 10, 9. I am subtracting 1 from 6 as well. So, so that will make this one 5. Now I am subtracting these two numbers 9 minus 5. So it is also 4. So I subtracted 1 from both 10 and 6. Both the mean event and the subtrahend. I subtracted the same number and the difference seems to remain the same. Now, instead of subtracting 1, I am subtracting 2 from this 10. So, subtracting 2 from this 10 will give you 8. Then, the same number I am subtracting from the subtrahend. So, 6 minus 2, it is 4. Now, I am subtracting the minimum and the subtrahend. So, 8 minus 4, that is also 4. Did you notice? If we subtract the same number from both the main event as well as the subtrahend, the difference remains the same. There is no change in the answer that you are getting. Okay. Now, keep this point in your mind. Look at this example. Subtract 234 from 400. How do we usually do this subtraction? We write the main event 400. We put the minus symbol write the subtrahend below it in proper columns then to subtract this what do we do we cannot do for 0 minus 4 so what do we do we regroup right we regroup from the next place in the next place also that is 10 sorry 0 so we go to the next place so we regroup this as like this right and then we do the subtraction 10 minus 4, 6, 9 minus 3, 6 and 3 minus 2, 1. This is usually how we do the subtraction, right? And it takes a little bit of time to actually regroup and then subtract, right? What if we have a shortcut instead of this regrouping? Let's see that shortcut now. In the previous example, that is 10 minus 6, we had discussed that subtracting the same number from both the minimum and the subtrahend will not make any change to the actual difference. So, with that in mind, I'm going to subtract 1 from both of these numbers. So, 400 minus 1 and 234 minus 1. So, that will change these numbers to 400 minus 1 is 399 and 234 minus 1 is 233. Now, I'm doing this subtraction. 9 minus 3, 6, 9 minus 3, 6 and 3 minus 2, 1. See, the difference remains the same. The answer is the same. Here, am I doing any regrouping? No. Instead of regrouping, I have subtracted 1 from both the mean event and the subtrahend. And when I did that, what happened? In all the places where you had zeros in the actual mean event, you have now the digits 9. Two zeros. Two nines. So, in the places where you had zeros, where you had to regroup, you have the highest or the largest possible digits in those places. So, digits in the corresponding places of the subtrahend will definitely be either equal to or less than the digits in the minimum. So, that you don't have to regroup anything. Clear? So, I have subtracted one from both the numbers and here the difference remains the same. So, I hope this is clear to you. See, here the steps are shown once again. 400 minus 1, 399. 234 minus 1, which is 233. The difference remains the same. In page number 43 of your textbook, under the heading Smart Multiplication, you can see this box there. The example that we discussed here is already mentioned there. You can see two more questions there. 300 minus 124 and 900 minus 624. You have to work out these two questions. You can pause the video, finish the two questions and come back. 
Hope you finished writing the differences. Now let's see the answers once again. So 300 minus 124. So from the shortcut that we learned earlier today, we can rewrite this as 299 minus 123, which is 300 minus 1 and 124 minus 1. Let's do the subtraction easily. 9 minus 3 is 6, 9 minus 2 is 7 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So it's the difference is 176. Now, what about the next question? It's 900 minus 624. Let's subtract 1 from both minimum as well as the subtrahend. So we get 899 minus 623. So what is the difference? 9 minus 3 6, 9 minus 2 7, 8 minus 6 is 2. So the difference is 276. Hope your answers are correct. We have learned about subtracting a two digit number from a three digit number, three digit number from a three digit number or four digit number from a four digit number. Let's see how we can subtract 10 or multiples of 10 from different numbers. See the first example 86 minus 10. What is the difference of 86 and 10? 86 minus 10. It is 6 minus 0, 6 8 minus 1, 7. So, the difference here is 76, right? So, the minimum was 86 and after subtracting 10 from it, it's changed to 76. See, only the digit in the tens place is changed here and there is no change in other digits. Here, there is only the one digit left. So, there is no change in the one digit. Only the tens digit is changed. Let's see the second example. 124 minus 10. Here. From the previous example, we know only the digit in the tens place will change when you subtract 110 from the number. So, let's uh, follow that rule and write the answer. So, 4001. See, here the tens digit is 2. It is changed to 1. The tens digits change. In both these examples, 86 and 124, the tens digit was greater than the tens digit here, which is 1. So, 8 is greater than 1. So, you don't have to regroup. Here also, 2 is greater than 1. So, you can just subtract without any regrouping. What if the tens digit in the mean event is less than the tens digit of the subtrahend? Let's see that example. Here, 204. Will there be change only in the tens digit? No, because in this minimum, in this case, the digit in the tens place is less than the digit in the subtrahend. So, we have to regroup. So, that will make this one 10. Now, we can subtract. Clear? So, when the tens digit of the mean event is greater than or equal to the tens digit of the subtrahend, you don't have to regroup. But when the tens digit of the mean event is less than the tens digit of the subtrahend, which is 1, you have to regroup and find the difference. In that case, both the tens digit and the hundreds digit will change. Now, here are the answers once again. Now, if that was the case with number 10, let's say the case with number 100, 268 minus 100. From the examples we saw with the subtraction of 10, can we write the answers for this ones easily? So, 268 minus 100. Here, that 100 digit is 1 and here it is 2. So, since this is greater than that one, only the digit in the 100 space should change. So, with that in mind, we can easily write the answer for this subtraction as 268 minus 100, 2 minus 1 is 1, then 168. So, what about 1832 minus 100? Here the 100 digit is 8 and here 1 here. So, 8 is bigger. So, you can easily sub do the subtraction as 8 minus 1. All the other digits remain unchanged. So, it is 1, 8 minus 1, 7, then 
1,832. So 1,832 minus 100 will be 1,732. Now the third number, 4,056 minus 100. Here the 100th digit is less than the 100th digit of the subtrahend. So what do we do? We have to regroup and when you do that, the digits to the right of it will also change. Let's see how we can do the subtraction 4,056 4, minus 100. Here no change in the digits and here we regroup the hundreds. So it's 10 minus 1, 9. Now bringing the 3 down. See the digits in the hundreds place as well as the thousands place changed because we had to regroup. Now, we saw the case with number 10, 100. Now, let's see the case with 1000. Similar to the subtraction with 10 and 100, here the thousand digit is more than the thousand digit in the subtrahend. So, we just have to subtract the digits in the thousands place, no change to the other digits to the right of it. So, this can easily be written as 2279 minus 1000. 2 minus 1 is 1. Then all the other digits we can directly write. So the answer will be 1279. Now the second number 3211 minus 1000. Here also only the digits in the thousands place changes. So 3 minus 1 will be 2. Now all the other digits. You can easily do the subtraction 2211. Now let's see the third case. The third case you have 0 here and 1 here. You cannot do 0 minus 1. So you will have to regroup. So let's see that 7789 minus 1000. All the digits to the right of it will remain unchanged. Now here we regroup. So this will be 69789. I hope this is clear to you. Now, you can see this topic in page number 43 under the heading pattern in maths. Please go to the topic and there are a few questions to be filled there. We can post the video, finish these questions and come back. Hope you finished writing the answers. Now, let's check them. Here, this is the subtraction with 10. So, 343 minus 10. We just need to subtract only this 4 and 1. Here, 4 is greater than this 1. So, no changes to any other digits in any other places. So, 343 minus 10 will be 3, 4 minus 1, 3, and 3, 333. Now, the next question, 493 minus 10. We write the 4, then this 9 minus 1, it is 8, then writing that 3. So, it will be 483. 549 minus 10. Here, it's 5 here, 4 minus 1, it is 3. Then writing that 9 here, it will be 539. 674 minus 10. Writing the 6, 7 minus 1 is 6. Now 4. So here the difference is 664. Next we have the subtraction with 100. Now 619 minus 100. 6 minus 1 is 5. No changes to other digits. So it's 519. Here it is 7 minus 1, 6, then 7 and 5, 675. Here it is 844 minus 100. 8 minus 1, it is 7. Here no other changes. 4 minus 4 will be 4 itself. 4, 4 minus 0 will be 4 itself and 4 minus 0, 4. So you can directly write the answer as 744. Here we have a 4 digit number. Let's look at the digits in the hundreds place. It's 2 and 1. So the thousands place remain unchanged. 2 minus 1 is 1. Then writing this tens digit and ones digit will give you the difference 1145. Let's see the case of subtraction with 1000. Here the minimum has a greater or bigger thousands digit. And 3 minus 1 it is 2. No change to other digits. It's 2,843. Now, 4,235 minus 1,000. 4 minus 1, 3. Then, writing the other digits will give you 
3235. 5678 minus 1000. It is 5 minus 1, 4, 6, 7, 8. So here the answer is 4678. Now 8008 minus 1000. 8 minus 1, 7, then it is 7008. Hope your answers are correct. If you are done with that, just below that you can see this heading hots. Fill in the boxes and complete the subtraction problems. You have to do the first three questions, questions A, B and C. You can pause the video, finish the exercise and come back. The first question 385 minus will give you difference here. So we know the difference plus the subtrahend will give you the minimum. So with that in mind, let's see 2 plus dash gives 5. 2 plus what gives 5 or 5 minus 2, it is 3. 2 plus 3 gives you 5. So here we can find the difference directly. 8 minus 7, it is 1. And here again, 2 plus dash gives 3. Or 3 minus 2, it is 1. 2 plus 1 gives you 3. So here, these are the correct missing digits. Now, the second question, 8 minus dash gives you 5. 8 minus what gives you 5? We can also do 8 minus 5 to get the subtrahend digit here. It is 3. So 8 minus 3 gives you 5. 7 minus 7, 0. 4 minus dash gives you 2. We can also do 4 minus 2 to get the subtrahend digit here. So it should be 2 here. See, 2 plus 2, 4. Now, the third one. 5 minus dash gives you 3. We can also do 5 minus 3 to get the digit missing here. It is 2. And 5 minus 2, it's 3. 6 minus 4, 2 and 9 minus what gives you 8 or 9 minus 8, it is 1, 9 minus 1, 8. So, these are the correct missing digits. Hope your answers are correct. So, we've learned about a shortcut way of uh, doing subtraction, subtracting numbers which have zeros in all the places except the digit at the highest place. And we also saw how we can subtract 10, 100 and 1000 easily from numbers as an activity for the day. There are a few more questions under the heading hearts which is in page number 44. You have to do the question D to I. Once you finish, you can take the picture and do send us. So that's all for today. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Until then, bye.